Well, after a couple month hiatus, we are back, ladies and gents, with another fresh episode of Flip or Flop. It seems like the market has stabilized quite a bit. We did see quite a few drops in prices, mainly from the graphics card department. The RTX 3070s have dropped an average of $30 online. They used to go for anywhere between 280 to 300. Now they're going anywhere from $240 to 260. So that's not great, especially for us, because if you remember on the last episode of Flip or Flop, we got an insane deal on triple RTX 3070s. So it's gonna be tough to make a profit on those now. But nonetheless, we got to continue flipping PCs because my daughter's college tuition in 15 years is not going to pay for itself. And after I'm done building a PC, I'm going to list it on Jawa so we can sell it quick because Jawa has come to the rescue so many times in the past episodes. It's really the best place to buy and sell PC parts. Whether you're looking to save money shopping for parts for your next build or you want to start a business and flip PCs like me, Jawa is the place. They made the listing process so simple to get your PC or PC parts up and shown to the right audience across the US. And with Jawa's marketing and promotions, your listings will be shown to gamers that are actively looking for an upgrade. So don't wait guys to start your PC business or side gig. Head on over to jawa.gg to create a free account and if you see something you like, use my code on the screen to get $10 off your first purchase. Luckily, we still have quite a bit of an inventory to work. Oh, that's not for me. Okay, we're safe. But yeah, luckily we still have an inventory from the past few episodes that we can use to build our PC for this episode. But we're missing some key components like a CPU and a case. I'm going to be picking up the case first. So I'm heading to downtown LA to look at a few new cases from Montec. There's this guy who apparently owns a warehouse and he sells PCs for a very strangely low price. So, you know, I have, I'm, I have my skepticisms, of course, but we're gonna go in person, check it out, and potentially pick up not one, but two cases for, for future builds. So, yeah, pretty excited about that. So it's only, you guys only have Montag cases? Right now, yeah, dude. I usually uh, have a guy who picks up all my pallets. Okay. I couldn't get a hold of him the last last week. So we started selling individual cases. Oh sweet. Okay. Don't pull it out. I know it's okay, I trust you. you. Sure? Yeah, yeah. That looks that looks brand new. What about a amount the the air one hundred? Yeah. Yeah, the white one. You have that listed as well for forty? That's a nice case. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. I'll take this too actually. Okay. Yeah, forty dollars. Nice. Yeah, this is the one. Perfect. Just no fans, huh? No. So 60 for that one. How much was for the their 903 base? That's 40 bucks, no, on, on Facebook. Okay, perfect. Yeah, shoot me a link to that website and then uh, I'll take a look at the boards as what well. What kind of boards are you looking for? Like what socket, what? Uh, are you looking for low end, mid, high? Um, Not too high. Definitely low and low to mid-ish, I like, would say. Like what, like B550s? B550s, yeah, B550. Uh, 450s? No, not so much. Okay. 50 or later, mostly. Full size or MATX? I'll take MATX as well. Yeah, MATX. I get a lot of those. Too. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. Take care. All right. So we just secured the cases for our next three PC builds. Let's go. God damn, that was the sketchiest place I've ever been to. I could have sworn that they were gonna harvest my organs. And being in downtown LA definitely didn't help. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta make that drive and take a little bit of risk to get that deal. And God damn, did we score today on those cases. Brand new cases with a massive discount on each. I mean, we're, we're pretty much set for the next three builds. Unfortunately, I have to go through this. Downtown LA, the trashiest city in California. All right, we are here to pick up a power supply next, specifically an EVGA 850 watt semi-modular. Uh, he had a list for $70. I talked him down to 60 bucks. He wasn't budget from that, which, you know, I'm okay with. I can't find the original listing anywhere online for an 850 watt, but the 750 watt GQ is going for $140 brand new retail. So I would imagine the 850 watt is going for 150 bucks, I would say. So even if we snag this for $70, we're getting it for pretty much more than half off. How's it going? How are you doing? Good. All right, this is it. Yeah, yeah, you want to check it out. Awesome, yes, sir. Why are you selling it? Uh, I upgraded to a thousand water. 
Um, okay. It's got a bigger video card. I mean, it's been running like a champ. Okay. I don't have all the cables that it came with. I just have all the cables that my build had. That your build had? Yeah. Uh, okay, um, let me just I see mean, if it's all. Your video all cards, your SATA cables, your, your CPU cables. How many um, CPU cables does it come with? Do you know? Oh, that is was. It, a, is it just uh, this one? Uh, yeah, because I only had a, a 5600 on it. On a, a uh, one. So I didn't okay. have the, that plus two. I see. Dang, there's a lot of VGA cables. What the heck? Well, those I did have like in the drawer because. Okay. I thought I might use those later, but... Okay, um, this might be a problem because the board I'm using has dual 8-pin. Uh, that's why I was going for a higher watt power supply. Is there any way you could do 50? Perfect. Yeah, just because I'm missing this one. Okay. Yeah, I understand. So 20, 30, 40, 50. There you go. Cool. Well, thanks, man. No worries. Appreciate Thank it. You. Take yeah. care, man. Have a good day. Bye -bye. All right, last but not least, we're heading out to pick up our memory for the build, a 32 gigabyte G-Skill kit, um, which you had a list of for, I believe, $90. I went and talked them down to 70 because it didn't have RGB, which I wasn't wrong. You know, people are selling their uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR5 sticks nearby for $80. So I could technically spend $10 more and get the RGB version. So I feel like, you know, $70 is more than fair. Uh, don't forget guys, I picked up these same sticks like a few episodes ago for like $40. So like this isn't the best deal by any means. But it's still a deal nonetheless and uh, supply is very, very limited currently during the holiday season. How's it going? It's you. I've seen your videos. Have you? Yeah, I think I think you got the wrong guy. No, 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 I got the right guy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know, man. We go every year, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. I always say the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I saw you wearing like those, those candy thing, and I'm like, ah, that's a raver right there. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. You go? I do. That's 60. Oh, that's, that's 65. 60. Let me just give you the change. They're all scattered, sorry. Why are you selling the sticks? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I upgraded my girlfriend's PC, and okay. I got the CPU from Micro Center. Okay. You know how they give you the bundle? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, I didn't need it. You didn't need it? Oh, okay, nice. So these are new then? They're new, yeah. oh, Okay, cool. Sweet, well, appreciate it, man. All right, cool, man. Hopefully I'll see you Thank at EDC you. one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not every day where I wake up super early to go buy PC parts, but this is an exception I have to make because it's a really good deal, and I'm afraid that if I wait till the weekend, someone else might grab it before me. This guy is selling a Ryzen 7 7700 non-X without the cooler, Forget this, $160. It's only been used for three months, according to the post, but this is the final piece I need for the build. And honestly, I'd wake up at 4 a.m. if I have to. A brand new 7700 non-X without the cooler goes for $240 on UEG. So we're saving $80 on this CPU, which is a killer, killer deal. Especially considering I just can't find the CPU anywhere else in the marketplace right now, guys. I've been looking for a full week on both Facebook and on OfferUp, and I just can't find any good deals. Everybody wants $240 or $220 for their Ryzen 7, and I just can't afford that. We just can't buy a CPU at that price because it's gonna eat into our profits. So yeah, I'm driving 20 minutes down to North Hollywood to check out the CPU and potentially buy it. How's it going? Oh, sweet. Can I ask why you're selling it? Uh, I just upgraded. One of my friends told me his 7800. Oh, nice. Okay. So I had it under a water cooler. A oh, that's right. You have a 240 in there. Nice. Uh, cool. I got to ask, man, uh, since I drove down here, are you? would you be willing to do 150 uh, if possible? You know, normally I would, but I had a lot of people ask me that. It's already priced really competitively. Like okay. No, you're fine. It's fair. It's fair. I got the 200 here. Sweet. 20, 20. Okay, yeah, thanks man, right, appreciate cool. it. Thank you very much. Take care, have a good one. Okay, look guys, I have to negotiate. I have to always negotiate, no matter what, okay? That's the whole point of the series. I have to buy used parts cheap so I can flip it for a profit. The lower I can buy the parts, the bigger the profit is, and the profits go to my college to go to my daughter's college fund, okay? And I see these comments in every single one of my videos where I show up with a Cybertruck just to lowball the guy by like five or ten dollars. 
you can't hate the player guys it's all a part of the series if i was buying something for myself outside of the series i don't negotiate i always go for the asking price um if it's a good price of course but you know for the for the series specifically i have to negotiate every single time so i'm sorry if it rubs some of you guys the wrong way but i have to negotiate every single time all right, I would say that was a very successful run, uh, but we do have all of our pieces for our build. I think I'm gonna go with the black and red case for this one because uh, we do have mostly black components and uh, the red is gonna make it pop just enough to where it sticks out, not only on the listing, but also in person. I do wanna keep the Pro 95 for an all white build for the next episode, but yeah, let's get to work, put this together so we can figure out how much money we can make off of it. All right, so the build is done and she is working like a brand new system, which is still bizarre to me. I spent the past few hours trying to crash the PC by playing games, stress testing the components, and even checking each individual USB port in the back. And there's nothing wrong with it. At least in my testing, I couldn't find anything wrong with the PC. How can you damage a CPU socket this bad and yet still have a stable working PC. That is beyond me. Anyways, the temps were looking really good too while playing the finals in 1440p epic settings. The CPU peaked at 67 degrees Celsius and the GPU didn't even pass 63 degrees. So overall, very cool temps. I did end up using the three extra fans that we had in our inventory. I installed two on the bottom as intake and one more in the back as exhaust. And of course, I had to add in some cable extensions and a Windows 11 Pro key. So let's go ahead and deduct all of those from our wallet. But check this out guys so i put together a parts list for this entire pc and it is currently valued at 1635 dollars but i only paid 700 dollars on all the parts which means we have a huge profit margin here i did list all the original retail prices on here except for the graphics card of course i did go on ebay and looked up the rtx 3070 gaming trio prices but i filtered them by sold listings to see how much people are actually paying for the card and the cheapest i found was 300 dollars so that's what i listed for the motherboard being priced at 380 dollars msrp is what's going to hurt this build because no one is putting a high-end motherboard in a mid-range build. I mean, a cheap B650 motherboard from MSI would have sufficed and it would have kept the overall MSRP price of the PC down. So we have to drop the sale price quite a bit if we want to sell this quickly. So I think we drop this to $1,200 and see what happens. I mean, that's still a $500 profit, which is the most we'll make in the entire series if I managed to pull this off. I'll go ahead and list this on Java as well, just to increase our chances. But honestly, I think we might have a bit difficulty selling this because of the damaged pins. I have to make it clear in the listing that the CPU socket pins are damaged despite the PC working completely fine. The buyer always has to be aware of any visible damages to the PC. I have to maintain transparency and honesty in all the listings. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and list this and um, see what happens. Not even a full day after listing the PC and it sold right on New Year's Day. Like this was the best way to kick off the new year. So I went in and packaged the PC and I took it to UPS the following day to ship it out 
only to find out that it was gonna cost me $172.12 to ship it to Washington state. That's like two states from California. It's still in the West Coast, yet somehow I have to pay almost $200 in shipping costs. That's definitely gonna eat into our profits quite a bit, and if that wasn't bad enough, someone reached out to me literally four hours after I dropped off the PC to come by and purchase it. I literally picked up the phone as soon as possible and I called UPS to see if I can halt the shipment so I can come by and pick up the PC. But unfortunately, the UPS driver already picked it up a few hours before, so it is right now currently on its way to Washington. If I was just patient for one more day, I could have avoided the Jawa seller fees and I could have avoided the shipping costs altogether. But it is what it is. I did list it on Jawa for $50 more to compensate for the seller fees and I did charge an extra $50 for shipping. So in reality, I did sell the PC for $1,300 instead of $1,200. But after the fees and shipping costs, my take home was only $1,010. I know I shouldn't be complaining because we still technically made $300 in profit. That's about a 30% profit margin, which is more than what we are aiming for in these videos. But in the future, I'll definitely be a bit more aggressive on the shipping costs. I mean, I still got lucky that that it was in Washington and not in New York. I don't even wanna know what the shipping cost would have been if I shipped it to the East Coast. It, it was gonna cost me probably three to $500 just for the shipping. Um, and I'm also gonna be more patient. I'll probably wait like one or two days before I list it on Java because once I list it on Java, the chances of it being sold is, is a lot higher. Anyways, let's go ahead and add the $1,010 back into our wallet and I'll update my daughter's uh, college savings account as well. This brings our total pretty close to $2,000, but the silver lining here is that we still have some parts to use for our next build. Like uh, we still have one RTX 3070 and a few really nice cases to choose from. But yeah, that will do for today's episode. As always, if you guys are enjoying the series, please let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Um, your feedback is highly, highly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.